20 some years ago. I ended up in the hospital one Saturday and turned out I had blood clots. For a week I was in the hospital while they're doing all kinds of testing, figuring out what was up. And uh, so my doctor then, Dr. Doctor, Dr. Ludwig, which is still my doctor today, uh, she was my savior. And uh, next to me in another room was a friend that was running a further processing plant here in Lebanon. And so that's where the conversation started about working together and making our chicken nuggets. And even at that point, uh, we were looking at making them similar to the way other people made them, where you, you took parts of the chicken and you chopped them up and you pumped them through a hose and, and, uh, and you formed it whatever shape you wanted and that was, you know, that was a chicken nugget. Soon after that, before I got too entrenched in that, I was uh, back over in Europe in Switzerland and started to realize that somebody over there was uh, producing nuggets and selling to the butcher shops and the restaurants a nugget that wasn't chopped and formed. It was cut out of whole breast meat, like the original nugget was here in the U.S. So when the original chicken nugget was produced here and labeled by USDA, you could label it chicken nugget, it was cut out of a whole breast. And to this day, almost everybody went to chopped and formed because you could produce them cheaper. In Switzerland, they were doing this thing, oh wow, I thought, now this is the way to make a chicken nugget. It's not chopped in form. You can cut it however you want it. You can make it bigger or smaller because you're basically taking a knife and taking the chicken breast and cutting it in pieces. And then you're just battering and breading it. So I came home, talked to my friend I made at the hospital and said, this is how I want to make chicken nuggets. And their first thing was, how are we going to do that? It took me six months to convince them to try this. They said, well, who's going to pay for chicken nuggets that are individually cut and then in our process of battering and breading them, we have to put them in rows so they don't touch each other, these pieces of meat. They don't need to be like straight rows, but they, they have to all be apart so they don't like get battered and bred together, which, is, which just kind of blew everybody's mind that we would go down this road. So I said, you know what? I think people will pay for it. And then we had these nugget contests here at home and we had all these little kids, including Margo and Buddy, my, my kids, and there's pictures of them here, they were with a whole group of little kids. We did all these taste tests and we tried all these nuggets. The nugget we sell today in the retail stores came out of that nugget panel and that idea from Switzerland that we made locally here in a plant, which they're now made in our own plant. So in my uh, blood clot hospital stay, this, this, this whole thing started.